greetings from Filter Concept. Refineries are industrial plants where oil and other petroleum products are processed and refined into usable products. This process involves a series of steps that begin with the conditioning of crude oil to separate out the different types of hydrocarbons contained in the liquid. The refining process then continues with the distillation of the hydrocarbons into the different parts that are used for various products like gasoline, diesel, and fuel oil. This process involves a number of steps which involve the separation and catalytic conversion of the various crude oil fractions. One of the most common processes used in petroleum refining is coking. A coker or coker unit is an oil refinery processing unit that converts the residual oil from the vacuum distillation column into low molecular weight hydrocarbon gases, naphtha, light and heavy gas oils, and petroleum coke. There are three types of cokers used in oil refineries, delayed coker, fluid coker, and flexi coker. Delayed coker is the most commonly used coking unit. Coking is a thermal process that involves the thermal cracking of heavy hydrocarbons into lighter ones. It is a process in which high temperature and pressure are used to turn large molecules of petroleum fractions into smaller molecules. This process is often used to convert heavy hydrocarbons, such as tar and asphalt, into lighter fractions. It is also used to produce coke, which is a solid carbon material that is used in the production of steel and other industrial materials. Petroleum coke is also referred as green coke. Here, green stands for unprocessed. The coking process consists of three main steps. The first step involves the pretreatment of the hydrocarbons, which involves heating the hydrocarbons at high temperatures and pressures. This breaks down the hydrocarbon molecules into smaller molecules. The second step is the coking process itself, which involves subjecting the hydrocarbons to high temperatures and pressures and allowing them to react with oxygen and water. This process produces a wide range of chemicals, which can be used in the production of a variety of products. Lastly, the post-treatment process involves the removal of any remaining hydrocarbons and waste materials. So initially the residual oil from the vacuum distillation unit is pumped into the bottom of the distillation column called the main fractionator. From there, it is pumped, along with some injected steam, into the fuel-fired furnace and heated to its thermal cracking temperature. The injected steam helps to minimize the deposition of coke within the furnace tubes, pumping the incoming residual oil into the bottom of the main fractionator, rather than directly into the furnace, preheats the residual oil by having it contact the hot vapors in the bottom of the fractionator. At the same time, some of the hot vapors condense into a high boiling liquid which recycles back into the furnace along with the hot residual oil. As cracking takes place in the drum, gas oil and lighter components are generated in vapor phase and separate from the liquid and solids. As long as no liquid or solids are entrapped, the drum effluent is directed to the main fractionator where it is separated into fractions based on their boiling points. The solid coke is deposited and remains in the coke drum in a porous structure that allows flow through the pores. After the first drum is full of the solidified coke, the hot mixture from the furnace is switched to the second drum. While the second drum is filling, the filled first drum is steamed out to reduce the hydrocarbon content of the petroleum coke and then quenched with water to cool it. The top and bottom heads of the full coke drum are removed, and the solid petroleum coke is then cut from the coke drum with a high-pressure water nozzle, where it falls into a pit for reclamation to storage. The fractionated products are contaminated with solids and liquids as a result of coke fines and steam being injected. In order for the final product to meet specifications and feedstock requirements, particulates and water must be removed. It is a challenging application due to the high solids load, including semisolids. Defecating contaminants protects downstream catalyst beds and process equipment such as heat exchangers and feed furnaces. As a testament to our expertise, Filter Concept has successfully implemented their solutions in a wide range of industries, providing reliable and cost-effective filtration solutions. With a team of experienced professionals and a wide range of cutting-edge technologies, Filter Concept continues to lead the way in developing innovative filtration solutions that meet the needs of their customers. You can reach us at inquiry at the ratefilter-concept.com or ENGG at the ratefilter-concept.com.
we greatly appreciate any feedback you can provide. Thank you.